morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing and sometimes wild and wacky world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, and it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to help you. Our number 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, or the longevity business, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can head over to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com and purchase products right off the website, also brightsideben.com. And, of course, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Love to have you on the team. We can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program together. We can help change lives together. We can help heal our friends and family members, workmates, loved ones together. Give a shout to 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a especially long look at our retinol 5% gel made with vitamin C and our transdermal delivery matrix. And that's it. Oh, yeah, there's a little fullerene in there. Put fullerenes in our products. Fullerenes are really neat, high-tech ingredients that improve transdermal penetration. No wax, no oil, no fillers, no silicon, no water, no, no preservative, no fragrance, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Everything you pay for when you buy a truth treatment product is something that's going to make a difference on your skin. And that's how I like to formulate. That's how I'm going to formulate. I couldn't do it with my other companies, but this, the truth is going to be dedicated to ingredients that are functional and active only. Check it out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so I want to continue talking about the calming diet, the ketogenic diet that stabilizes seizure disorders, helps you lose weight. It's important for cardiovascular health, important for folks dealing with Alzheimer's disease. It's an anti-diabetic diet. Basically, the ketogenic diet is a high-fat, moderate protein, whatever that means, and low-carb diet. If you're really going ketogenic, you're going to go... 10% maybe or less carbohydrates, but for most people, 40%, 30%, 20%, somewhere in there, carbohydrates, 20 to 25 is probably a good place, 25% to 25% of your calories coming from carbs, and then maybe 60 to 70% fat, and then maybe 10 to 20% protein. It's a calming diet. It's used for just calming the body down. We discussed nutrients that you could use to support the ketogenic diet. Lecithin, helping your body process fats. You're going to be eating all this fat. You Now you need to have excess nutrients to help your body process fat. That's where bile salts come in. Digestive enzymes come in. That's where probiotics come in. That's where vitamin E comes in. All of these will help your body process fats. Cardiovascular benefits also increase when you use these fat-supporting uh, fat nutrients. Vitamin E helps the heart. 
actually the whole body really, the brain, the heart, the blood sugar system, the entire body benefits when you start using bile salts and probiotics and vitamin E for your ketogenic diet, everything will benefit. So today I want to start talking about one of my all-time favorite supplements, one you don't hear a lot about, except if you're listening to this program, you hear a lot about it, but you don't hear a lot about it in the mainstream, which is very unfortunate, considering this stuff has incredible, incredible benefits and multifunctional benefits. I love multifunctionality. Multifunctionality in nutrition gives you value when you buy your nutrients. Drugs don't have a multifunctional nature. It's rare that a drug will do more than just target a specific enzyme system or or a cellular system for one specific effect. In fact, drug companies don't want to have multifunctionality. That's where side effects come in. With nutrients, you get side effects, but they're good. That's what multifunctionality is about, good side effects. So you take your vitamin E for your brain health, and your blood sugar improves, and your skin health improves, and your heart health improves. This is what's so neat about nutrition. So this new sup- this supplement I'm going to talk about, it's not a new supplement, it's quite an old supplement actually. It's not a nutritional supplement, it's a hormonal supplement. And it's cheap, and it's non-toxic, and it's supremely anti-aging. It's called pregnenolone, P-R-E-G-N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E, pregnenolone. It costs you about 50 cents or a dollar a day to get a good daily dose of pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is not a nutrient. It's not part of the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. It's not essential. You don't need to supplement with it like you need to supplement or need to get vitamin E in your diet or any of the vitamins or minerals or Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. That's what essential means. You've got to get it in your diet or supplements. So you don't need to take pregnenolone. You can, you can get by without taking pregnenolone supplement. On the other hand, why would you? Why, uh, why would you want to get by? without taking a pregnenolone supplement. It's a steroid hormone. It's, a, it's a, a, a stress management hormone. It's a growth hormone. It's a building hormone. It's a happy hormone. And it's benign. And it's gentle. And it's mild. This gentleness, this mildness, is why you can get pregnenolone in the health food store and on the Internet. And you don't need a prescription for it. How cool is that? And it's amazing stuff. It's multifunctional. It's potent. It's non-toxic. And it's cheap. And if you're dealing with any stressful inflammatory health issue, you'd be pretty smart to get on 100 or 200 milligrams a day of pregnenolone. Any autoimmune diseases, 100 to 200 milligrams of of pregnenolone, particularly arthritis. But really any inflammatory immune stressful health challenge. Pregnenolone is a stress management happy hormone. It's an anti-aging hormone. Pregnenolone, like all of the steroid hormones, is really cholesterol. It's a type of cholesterol. It's just a slight tweak away from cholesterol. Chemistry being all about le- uh, tinker toy shapes. I know I said it before, but it bears repeating. Chemistry is nothing more than shape shifting. So when you talk about chemistry or you think about chemistry, what we're always, always talking about are tinker toys just being shaped differently. Cholesterol is one particular tinker toy shape. If you just do a little twist on one of the dowels on the left-hand side, just one of the little edge, I think they're called dowels or wheels or whatever they are. Just a little twist, you get pregnenolone. It's basically the same thing, which is just another reason, by the way, why you want to stay away from statin drugs or doctors, boneheaded doctors, who think it's a good idea to poison the cholesterol manufacturing system. If you get a whole cholesterol is really the source of, it is really all your building and growth and fertility hormones and stress management hormones, suppressing cholesterol is quintessentially stupid. Tell that to your doctor. With all of the things that cholesterol is responsible for, all of the amazing growth and anti-aging and healing and wound repair and, and, and just good health and good livingness associated with cholesterol, why would anybody think it's a good idea? Why would any medical professional think it's a good idea to poison cholesterol manufacturing machinery? Oh yeah, I know why. Because the drug company said that you can reduce your risk by half a percent if you of a heart attack if you lower your cholesterol. Only if you've had a heart attack before, by the way. Except they don't say half a percent. They say 50% because they're sneaky. And I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about 
longevity products or nutrition or supplements or pregnenolone or the ketogenic diet or anything we're talking about today. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation or share a success story, 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren for setting those up. And then also... Uh, you can check us out, uh, check out the longevity products at brightsideben.com. And also, if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, you can go to truthtreatments.com. We have a skin health blog up there as well. And also, check out my uh, Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. And that's my uh, Truth Facebook page. I blog on there about skin health, skin health topics as well. Okay, so there's this whole idea in, in pharmacy called relative risk. And this is the way drug companies measure the success of medication. They'll take 50 people, and if uh, 49 people, or if one person benefits from 50 people out of 50, if one, they get one person benefiting out of those 50 with a sugar pill, and then they get two people benefiting out of those 50 with their drug, they don't say that one out of 50 or 2% got imp uh, showed improvement using the drug, they say 100%. They are allowed to use this phenomena called relative risk. So in the case of these statin drugs, what they found was maybe one out of 100 people benefited from a sugar pill and maybe two out of 100 people benefited when they took the drug in terms of heart, heart disease. They didn't talk about side effects or toxicity. They just said in terms of heart disease, two out of 100 uh, uh, got improved, showed improvement when they took the drug and only one out of 100 with a sugar pill. Well, first of all, that tells you a sugar pill works ha at least half as well as their drug. That's aside from the, my point here, but that's interesting in and of itself. What's, what really is sneaky though is if you have one out of 100 and then two out of 100, the difference is 1%. That seems obvious. But the drug companies are allowed to say 100%. That's called relative risk. They're allowed to say, well, there was double. Sure, two is more than is double one, but it's really only one more person. And this is the reason why doctors are hoodwinked into believing that these statin drugs are super helpful. It's statistical manipulation, and it's sneaky, and it's nasty. The fact of the matter is, if you poison your body with a drug, you will, to a greater or lesser extent, be poisoning your body. That's how it works. Toxicology is pharmacology, and pharmacology is toxicology. They're the same thing. All drugs kill things. That's how they work. They're cytotoxic by definition. I'm not making this up. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not being poetic here. In the case of the statin drugs, they poison the cholesterol manufacturing machinery in a cell. Remember, cells are little, are little Play-Doh extruder machines. They're extruding things like a Play-Doh extruder, one of those fun factory deals you played with when you were a kid. That's basically what a cell is doing all day long. Every minute it's alive, it's extruding stuff. It's extruding us. It's just extruding our chemicals, our, our tissue, our, the things that make us us. One of the things it extrudes is cholesterol. And cholesterol is super important. Animals are the you know, animals make cholesterol, plants don't. That's because cholesterol is the iconic molecule that makes us human and makes us animals, I should say. It makes us move. It gives us locomotion. It gives us a nervous system. It's why we're not fern plants. Cholesterol is why we are not vegetables. But yet, your doctor wants to make you a vegetable, at least head in that direction, and that's what happens when you suppress cholesterol production. And I don't want to get too off into this because we talk about it all the time, but I will tell you about this article I just read from the journal Cell Metabolism. This is the June issue of Cell Metabolism. Came out a little early, obviously. New clues in mice link cholesterol to fertility. Cholesterol is a fertility substance. Anything that ups your fertility, in the way of nutrition anyway, not drugs, but in the way of nutrition, is anti-aging you. It's making you younger. Cholesterol is an anti-aging molecule. It's a youth molecule. It's a movement molecule. It's a, a brain molecule. It's a muscle molecule. All things good start with cholesterol. Let me say that again. All things good start with cholesterol in terms of the body. Pregnenolone is cholesterol with a, just a slight little tweak. And this is why pregnenolone is so powerful. Uh, and this is why pregnenolone is so anti-aging. It is cholesterol, essentially. Slight little tweak. All right, so I don't want to, didn't want to do that whole 
drug bashing thing, but it seems to be inevitable if you're talking about health. You've got to bash the drugs on some level because they're killing us. So pregnenolone is the quintessential anti-aging hormone. It's the quintessential hormone of youth. It's the signature. It's the hormonal signature of youth. When you're a baby, you're making lots of pregnenolone. When you're old, not so much. Pregnenolone, it, it identifies youth. It identifies newborns in, t in terms of steroid hormones. Pregnenolone levels, I should say. There's so many cool things about this hormone, it's hard to even know where to begin. For one thing, it has a very important calming effect on the body. Isn't it interesting how our strength and our vitality and our anti-aging and our youth hormones are calming? There's, a, a, there's a, a moral there. There's a relationship between calming and anti-aging. Anything we can do to calm the body down. The opposite, hyping the body up with sugar especially, or with fear, or the uh, bad uh, mental and emotional strategies, ages us. Calming is anti-aging. Being hyped up is aging. Anything that hypes you up is aging you. And that inc especially includes sugar. Cancer, by the way, is the classic example of a hyped up system, a system that is hyperactive. If you want to prevent cancer, calm the body down. If you're dealing with cancer, God forbid, calm the body down. From the journal, uh, this month's journal, uh, this month's edition of the journal Clinical Cancer Research, low carb diet slows down the growth of aggressive brain tumors. And it's from University of Florida, uh, University of Florida Medical Center. A high fat, low carbohydrate diet, including coconut oil, including, they used a derivative, MCT oil, uh, helped reduce the growth of glioblastoma, that's brain cancer, Glio, uh, glioblastoma tumor cells, and extended lifespan in mouse models by 50%. How do you like that? High fat, low carb diet that included a coconut oil derivative, MCT oil, extended lifespan, lifespan in mice by 50%, and helped reduce the growth of glioblastoma tumor cells because you calm the body down with the ketogenic diet. You calm the body down with pregnenolone. There's lots of ways to calm the body down, but this is one of the most important benefits of, of pregnenolone. It has a calming effect on the body. As we get older, every, people will tell you when they get older, there's more anxiety, there's more depression, there's more jitteriness. Older people typically can't sleep well. All of this is, are signs of a buildup of stress hormones and a deficiency in pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is one of the best supplements you can give somebody in a nursing home or somebody who's dealing with any of the signs of, of aging. And you don't have to be old to be dealing with the signs of aging. Pregnenolone is unbelievably helpful for brain health. Alzheimer's disease patients, they should all be on pregnenolone, in my humble opinion. All right, there's so, so much more to say about this amazing, amazing uh, supplement, a dietary supplement, not, not nutritional supplement, dietary supplement. And uh, we'll come back and talk a little more about pregnenolone and then take your calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. Get your calls here in just a sec. If you're on hold, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you'd like to get on board, if you have questions about the longevity products or anything we're talking about today, pregnenolone, Alzheimer's disease, drugs, the statin drugs, cholesterol, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, we always like hearing those. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. All right, so uh, pregnenolone, the calming, anti-aging, youth-promoting, healing, happy hormone. It's cholesterol, essentially. Thus, the uh, just one example of the utter medical ignorance and biochemical biochemical stupidity of using or prescribing or encouraging patients to get on cholesterol poisoning medication. Tomorrow we'll talk about pregnenolone a little bit more. Uh, if, you're, if you're indulging in the kind bud, if you are using marijuana, smoking pot, you want to know about pregnenolone. There's a lot that you can do with pregnenolone to help mitigate some of the side effects and toxicity associated with marijuana and I'm not a you know I'm not ripping anybody for smoking pot you can do whatever you want smoking is definitely not a good thing though smoking anything is not smart it's not health savvy nonetheless 
marijuana does have a lot of benefits. The, the plant itself, the herb itself, can be used for a lot of things. Tinctures of marijuana can be used for pain relief or tinctures of extracts of marijuana, something called CBD. Guess what? It works the same way as pregnenolone. And this is one of the ways, one of the reasons why pregnenolone can be helpful for folks who are either dealing with uh, who are smoking pot or who want to wean themselves off pot. But we'll talk about all of that tomorrow as we continue discussing pregnenolone and its incredible multifunctional health benefits. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Oh, here's a good one. P uh, potential cholesterol-lowering drug molecule has prostate cancer-fighting capabilities. They want to use statin drugs for cancer. You know why? Because cancer cells can't grow when you rob the body of cholesterol. Well, that might sound like a good thing, and maybe in an emergency it is, but the point is, is no cholesterol, no growth. The problem is, when you start taking these cholesterol-lowering drugs, it's not just the cancer cell that's deprived of cholesterol. We are, too, because we are cancer. Our cancer is us, like that old Pogo cartoon. I've seen the enemy, and he is us. We are our own enemy. So when you poison the, the cancer-causing cell, you're poisoning yourself as well. From the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, that means kidneys, commonly used reflux and ulcer medication cause, uh, may cause serious kidney damage. New research indicates that long-term use of certain medications used to treat heartburn, acid reflux, and ulcers can have damaging effects on the kidneys. That's from the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology. That means Nexium. That means Prevacid. That means uh, Protonics. There's a whole slew of them out now. If you're taking a proton pump inhibitor, it's a drug, and none, as it, it may be over the counter. Nonetheless, it's a drug, and you're going to be dealing with drug toxicity, and that's just the way it goes when we take drugs. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Let us go to, let's see who's here. Let's go to Mary in Tennessee. What's up, Mary? Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Good morning, Pharmacist Dan. How are you? I'm doing good. What's going on? How can we help you? My, look, I take care of my father. Okay, and, God bless uh, you. For the last couple of years, thank you. For the last couple of years, he has lost the ability to walk. So he lies around and he sits around a lot. And when I was cleaning him yesterday, I noticed a little break in his skin okay. and uh, on his bottom. Okay. And um, how old is he, by the way? Somebody, I, he's how? Uh, 86. 86? Yes, he is. And when, you, uh -huh. and when you say he can't walk, do you mean he's, he's, he's not paralyzed? It's just hard for him to walk? It's, well, he, he lost the ability. It's an injury um, that he had when he was young. I see. And, he literally uh, can't walk. He's not walking. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Got it. Okay, got it. And, uh, and I saw a little break. And the first somebody that I thought about was you. Oh, because I can he's see. dealing with the skin. I got something all. for you. I got something well, for you. I'll tell you, you what I'm going to do. What I want okay. you to do, okay? I'm going to send you some of my Omega-6 healing cream. It's amazing for healing. Okay. And, and for healing anything. So what I want you to do is send me an email to ben at ksco.com. Uh -huh. And put Mary from Tennessee, and I'm going to send you some, uh, and put your, your mailing address, and then I'm going to okay. send you, and put your phone number there, too, if you don't mind. And then, uh, you know what? I will, because I okay. really need to talk. talk okay, to okay. You. put your phone number in there, and I'll call you. And then also, just so you know, uh, you could do a lot with nutrition for this, okay? okay? There's a lot you could do for healing the skin. Now, obviously, if he's sitting down a lot, that's not, that's going to hurt the skin. That's going to cause problems. Exactly. So, so you're going to have a certain amount of problem based, problems that you're just going to have to deal with, but you can do a lot with nutrition, essential fatty oh. acids especially. Get them okay. on the ultimate EFAs. Now, he'll okay. more than likely have a problem processing them uh, mm -hmm. if he's this broken down. So get him on, you, have him use enzymes. Is he eating well? Is he eating okay? well. Okay, uh -huh. with his food, with his food, give him three, or actually give him six ultimate EFAs, okay? Mm -hmm. With his food, and get him on the ultimate enzymes. And with his food and, uh, uh, and the EFAs, have him do enzymes. It'll help him digest his food, and it'll help him absorb the EFAs. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a couple, there's tons you could do, but I'm going to tell you a couple okay. more things that you want to do right away, okay? Yeah. Get him yeah. on zinc picolinate, and that second word is important, everybody listening, mm -hmm. picolinate, that's the best form of zinc. Zinc okay. picolinate. You okay. want him on 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate mm -hmm. a day. You want him using, uh, and I'm not going to be comprehensive here. There's just so many things you could do. Uh, you want him using, um, uh, let's see what else, uh, uh, 400 IU of vitamin E a day. Mm -hmm. And you want him on, on 20,000 units IU of vitamin A a day. 
Mm-hmm. And you can also break open the vitamin A capsule with a little pin and squeeze some on the wound. Wonderful. Okay. And then I also get him some zinc oxide paste to put topically on the wound. And then I'm going to okay, send you some of my omega-6 healing cream. Oxide. Zinc oxide. Okay. 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 Thank you so very Good deal. much. God and bless I want you. to get that uh, email out to you today. Okay. And I will be, I'll probably give you a call here in the next few days. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mary. Take care. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Marshall, what's up, buddy? Marshall in Santa Cruz, my buddy. I think that's you, right, Marshall? Hey, I, um, I have a, a 70-year-old client, and uh, I have two issues I'd like to address. Yes, sir. Um, one is he, he had a perforated stomach ulcer. Okay. And he, he drinks a little bit of wine, smokes a little pot, and smokes cigarettes. Well, the cigarettes aren't helping them, and I don't know how much pot we can say a little bit of pot. Smoking is the worst thing. Smoking is going to shut everything okay. down. That's going to cause a problem. So he's smoking. Let's, let's try to mitigate the damage. You know what I'm saying? Let's so- soften the blow. So uh, let's, if he, is he on the Mighty 90? That's the baseline right there, the Mighty 90 essential um, nutrients. He likes to take his liquid vitamin C. Okay, well, if you can get him on the Mighty 90, that's, at least he's on the liquid vitamin C. That's helping him. If you get him on the Mighty 90, that's great. If you don't, he, he doesn't want to do it, at least get him on NAC, uh, N-acetylcysteine, 500 milligrams a day, vitamin E, 400, uh, uh, 400 IU a day, and the Fucoid Z. Have him doing gelatin. I didn't understand the, the first one and the third one. NAC. 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 And then the third one I said was uh, vitamin E, I think, right? Vitamin E, 400 IU. No, vitamin E was the second. Okay, the Fucoid Z. I might have missed one there. Fucoid Z. Fucoid? Fucoid Z. Coat the stomach. Hang hang on, we've got to take a break. Don't go away, Marshall, okay? okay? I'm going to give you some ideas. Thank you. All right, you're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're talking to Marshall in uh, Marshall in Santa Cruz. You there, Marshall? Yeah. Okay, so you want to, a couple things you want to do. First of all, you want to start healing the gut. That's the first thing, you, or healing the stomach is the first thing you want to do. And chances are if he's got stomach ulcerations, he's probably falling apart on multiple, on multiple levels. Yeah. So, okay, so vitamin, uh, vitamin A, 20,000 IU, vitamin E, uh, 400 IU. If you can't get them on the Healthy Star Pack, that would be great to do that, too. Uh, but I assuming might you, be able to, assuming, yeah. Okay, well, we're just going to assume you're not going to get them on that. These are nutrients that can help w- with the healing process. Vitamin A, vitamin E, uh, zinc, 50 milligrams a day, zinc, mil, uh, zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. And then the Fucoid Z, that's a longevity product that helps uh, coat the digestive tract, especially the stomach. And also the Fucoid Z as well as aloe. Will, will uh, Dave Michaels have that down there? Yeah, 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 Dave will have it. Also, okay. aloe, aloe vera, and noni, as well as the Fucoid Z, will do something for a bacteria called H. pylori. Have you ever heard of this stuff, H. pylori? It's, it's, a, no. bac- it's a bacteria that, that is found in the body, typically, but it overgrows when our digestive system's messed up, and it's responsible for ulcers, among other horrible things. That's just one of the things it's responsible for. It's also responsible for stomach ulcers. So uh, using probiotics and fermented foods yeah. can be helpful. Get them on the, uh, the nightly essence, and then also fermented foods and veggies and veggie juices. Those will do, those will do double duty for healing. Okay, and not I, fruit juices, because no. I told them to... No. No fruit juices. No, I do not say fruit juices. Fruits are not the same as vegetables. This is a okay, this I is know. one of the ways yeah. people reveal I've their heard you nu- before, yeah. you've heard me say this. This is one of the people <laughs> reveal yeah. their lack of understanding about nutrition. They'll say fruits and vegetables. It's not the same thing. So veggies, yes. Okay, fruits, no. well the, the other problem is he had a decatheter because of the operation and now his prostate problems are well, uh, look, exacerbated. You gotta start where you can start. Everything I told you will and, also help him. And they're, they're trying to wait, they're trying to give him phenus steroid five milligrams daily. Wait, are you trying to break my heart here? You trying to make me cry on the yes, radio? I am. That's ter- no <laughs> that's terrible. Phenesteroid. No, you know, finasteride. That's yeah, I know. Finasteride. That's okay. how they do it. That's their thing. That's their dealio. So that's what I go with pregnenolone instead of the phenosteride? Pregnenolone will help him. Pregnenolone will help him. The finasteride is going to throw off his hormones. 
You know, that's how they work. So you can do whatever you want to do. I mean, I can't tell you what to do and how to take care of your drugs. I personally, (laughs) as a pharmacist, I'm extremely, extremely reluctant to recommend drugs or to take them myself or, you know, I I can't help you with that. But everything I told you will help his prostate too. Throw in fat. Make sure he's not eating the fried and processed fats either. That'll throw, that'll mess things up too. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Take take care, Marshall. Have a great day. Good to talk to you. Okay. All right. Let's go to Pat in Indiana. What's going on, Pat? Welcome to the bright side. Pat, just we just lost Pat. Okay, then let's go to Kathy in New Jersey. Good morning, Kathy. Oh, is, is that you, Ben? That's me. Come is this up? you, Kathy? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, um, I have a question about. Uh, it's for a friend of mine who's got Morgellons. Morgellons disease. Ever, yes. Yeah. Now, have you have you, see, have you seen this person? Do you know this person? Oh yeah. Do they have the wound? Do they have the sores, or they just think they have the sores? I mean, well, they, she, actually, it, she actually has them in her ears right now. Okay, you've seen the sores. Sometimes the thing about Morgellons is sometimes Morgellons. It's sometimes it's kind of it, it feels like there's creepy crawlies and there's nothing there. So, well, but sometimes it's, there's sores. She, yeah, there's some. I okay, know, good. But the, she went to the she went to the doctor, and the doctor said it looks like the inside of her ear has been up, and uh, she's okay. It travels okay. around her body. The the so, sores travel around her body? Well, it's not just sores, but it's pain and yeah. sores. Okay. Okay. All right, here's the thing. Let me tell you about Morgellons, okay? And they'll tell you it's unknown, it's mysterious, but there's nothing really that mysterious in the body when you understand how it works. Your skin is packed with nerves that respond to the immune system. It's a defensive organ, the skin, among other things. And so anytime you have some kind of weird sensation or wounding or rashes on the skin, you have almost by definition, I would say by definition, an immune problem. Okay, are you with me? The immune system is activated on some level. And the only thing we need to do is figure out why. The immune system is the defense system. Okay? Now, it could be infectious. Sometimes it's bacteria or microbe or something like that. But assuming that there's no infection, there is only one way that the immune system becomes activated, and that's by something we're eating. Are you with me? Now, it can also be compounded by nutritional deficiencies, which will destabilize the immune system and make it more jumpy. So sometimes that's involved as well. But between between nutrition and the digestive system, you've got the 99.9% of the reason why our skin gets messed up. 99.999. 99.999. I can't think of another reason uh, aside from infection and micro- microbial infection. That, that can happen. So with Morgellons, any unexplained skin issues, you, you want to you calm down the immune system. And the best way to do that is to fast for a couple of days. Are you with me, Kathy? I told her that. Yeah, but okay. I told her that. Yes. Okay, now, she doesn't want to fast, and sometimes people are reluctant to fast. Have her do, because it, uh, they shouldn't be because it's not that hard to do, but nonetheless, I can see how it is. I don't like to fast necessarily sometimes. So if you don't want to fast, do a swear OV cleanse. Have her do a swear OV cleanse. Are you using Longevity, Kathy? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, uh, and I wanted to ask you a quick question. Well, hang on. Let me finish here, sweetheart. Let me just finish. Okay, okay? Go ahead. okay. Have her do the swear OV cleanse. Okay, and then when she starts eating again, keep track of the foods that she's eating and do a food diary and elimination diet. Then you're going to want to support the digestive system and also the skin, and they're very similar. So when you support the digestive system, you will be supporting the skin. Probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, is a must-have. I I have her on the Ultimate Enzymes as well, and then uh, vitamin E, 400 IU a day, zinc, 50 milligrams a day, zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day, vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Make sure she's on the Healthy Star Pack. And then I'd be doing extra EFAs, maybe 12 to 15 EFAs. Excuse me, EFAs a day for a couple of weeks. Okay, there's lots more you can do, but that's a great start. What else were you going to, excuse me, what else okay. were you going to ask? Uh, um, I work in New Jersey as a water meter reader, so I'm walking six, seven hours a day. And uh, so I sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day. And Good deal. And I'm also on my fast for most of the day. Good deal. But then when I get home, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm starving. I want to eat the house. Protein. Protein, then- hard-boiled egg, fish. Yeah. Uh, uh, Slender FX, yeah. the new keto, the new keto product from Longevity, the new keto meal replacement product. Go protein, go fat. Okay. That's my recommendation to you. Stick of butter with me. <laughs> uh, not necessarily butter, but you could do a, you could do a, you could do some yeah. coconut oil, or you could do butter and veggies. I do that. 
You can do butter and veggies when you come home. Braise some veggies and put some butter on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's still, it's, uh, I do that, and I'm just, I want to eat everything. Protein. It sounds like you might have a you, – when you're starving, really hungry like that, that typically involves protein, and especially if you're working out. Yeah. Basically, you're working out. You may be burning through protein and not replacing it. Well, I, be, eat, I eat eggs. I just ate eggs uh, about a half an hour ago. And good then, for you. So when uh, you come home and you want a snack, have, have cook up some hard-boiled eggs, have some eggs, or some, or some Slender FX. Lot. Have a shake. Okay. Okay. Take care. Right, Good to talk Pat. to you, Kathy. Okay, thank you. Thank okay. you. Bye. All right. We got Pat back. Real quick, Pat. Don't have much time here. What's going on? Well, Pat. my son had uh, thyroid cancer. Oh, I'm sorry. And they made him. They took one out and made him wait uh, five weeks, and then they took the other one out. But they never put him on thyroid medicine until after this last one, and he had heart palsy. His heart was pulsing and fluttering. All right. All right. Well, I'm, I don't have a lot of time, so let me go really fast for you, okay? Listen up. There's no thyroid medicine that I know of. There's thyroid hormone, which replaces, theoretically, doesn't really work very well, replaces thyroid hormone, and there's thyroid glandulars they can give, and there's things they can give you to kill the thyroid, but there's nothing they can do to help the thyroid. You don't have a thyroid anyway, or he doesn't. So what you need to do at this point in time for the rest of the, your son's life is he has to be kind and loving and gentle with his body. The thyroid regulates everything. He doesn't have one, so he's lost a major structure for regulation. Now his adrenal glands are going to be, his stress glands are going to be working extra overtime. So anything he could do to calm the body down and relax the body is going to be incredibly important. He should be on the mighty 90 essential nutrients immediately. He should be avoiding sugar and anything that spikes his blood sugar like the plague. We all should be, but, you know, there's, some, there's a window there for most of us, but not for your son. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything that hypes up his body is going to sh- cause health, future health misery and is going to shorten his life as well. So he has to calm the body down. Deep breathing is going to be very important for him. You use the ketogenic diet. There's so many different things. Pat, can I get you a call back tomorrow? Yeah. I, I would love to talk to you. There's so many things, and it's very important, and your son's not alone in this. And if, we, if there's things you could do to, to mitigate the, the issues that he's going to confront, but if you don't, he's in big trouble. Can you? I, I would really love it if you call me tomorrow, and I got to go. Yeah, I he pa- can't. He's hyper anyways. And- there, uh, this, this is all what I'm talking about here. All right, I got to motivate. Okay. Please call tomorrow, Pat. I'd love to help you out, okay? Thank you. All right, I wish we had more time in the program. We just don't. Uh, and that's it for today on The Bright Side. Tomorrow we'll continue talking pregnenolone. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. I'm pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.